Hey, what's up everybody? We are back with another edition of the NCAA 2007 Coronavirus Dynasty Fresno State Bulldogs. Glad you're back. Thanks for watching. Thanks for enjoying the Dynasty. I know a lot of people are. I've been getting some positive comments. Uh, if you have any comments, please leave them on the video. But we're back with another week of football action. I've been, been trying to keep up my pace of one game a day, so uh, I'm taking a little bit of a break from work which is allowed, it's allowed, I'm not skirting anything, um, to, uh, to record a game, kind of kick back, relax, play a game, record. Try to get back in the W column. Pretty disappointing game last week against Colorado State. Um, a couple of adjustments I've made from that game, one of them you saw at the, I think at the end of the game. Afterwards, I subbed out. Okay, so my right tackle went out with injury for a month, or for four games. So I subbed in... The uh, the default the default backup right tackle was not very good. He was doing fine in the run game, but in the pass game he was getting blown up quite a bit. Um, it didn't directly result in a lot of sacks, maybe two, which is kind of a lot. It's true, it's not good. But uh, there was the backup left tackle. I'm kind of using. I was already actually using as a floating a floating backup for all other positions except for right tackle. So I put him in there at right tackle. So he'll get some PT. He's an 82 overall over the guy that's a 70 that was in there before. So that will help. I also changed up my audibles. I changed them actually to all pass plays because I run the ball so much. Um, I changed my audibles to all passes and I tried to make them flow kind of with the playbook with uh, kind of the, the same order, the order of the formations being the same as the playbook. Um, so I think, I think that'll help. And one thing in this game is you can't have separate, um, you, can't, you can't have audibles for each formation. You can only have a set amount of audibles, and whatever play you pick, it's for, it's for a certain formation. So if I'm in one formation, I want to audible to something else. You can't really audible to the same plane, to the same plane, the same formation. They're actually going to change formations, so it's not really that quick to uh, audible because the guys have to potentially run around the field a little bit to rearrange their positions. And then you end up with things like guys out of position, like uh, a tight end playing receiver or vice versa, or you know, tight end at running back, that type of thing. So hopefully that'll help, and also this is probably a good game to test this out on. Uh, Utah State is not rated very highly. They're a C minus. That's that's pretty bad. I mean C minus in this game is a pretty big range of just generally your team is not good. But I think we're a B, right? Yeah, we're a B overall. So this will be a good one, a good one to test out on. But looking at the bright side, aside from our loss last week, we are one and zero in conference play. You know the. Uh, the goal is pretty much always to just win. I, I feel like just win the conference, get to, to get to the best bowl game you can. You know, anything on top of that is uh, is kind of gravy. Okay, we got the got the coin toss. We're gonna take the ball, try to score, get some momentum. And since Utah State, they're not rated very highly. They're not that good. Look at all the red on the right side there. Bulldog Nation showing up. All right, let's go. Hopefully, uh, things like hot routes and audibles are not too much of a challenge in this game. All right, let's go to our base run play just to see what it looks like. And if they're really loaded up, we could call an audible. Now, their D line is not very well rated, so I think I'm going to go ahead and try to run it just to see how we do. Let's see if any other guys want to move. Oh, a little bit of movement there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, there we go. We're just going to dive. Don't need to get hit. Let's run. Let's do, let's try to incorporate a little more passing. We're going to run, gonna run QB, uh, the PA choice here. Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to have Bear block. I'm going to send Chaston on an in route. Okay, I actually can't. Okay, there I can move Bear. I thought for a moment. Sometimes if you call hot routes, you can't motion, guys. Yeah, it actually was. Oh, man, I wanted a better fall forward. I thought I had the reader here on a good run play. But the guy slid off the block pretty quickly there. I guess I should have gone for this hole, but then this guy would have slid off. Who knows? So second down, right? Yep, second down. Let's spread it out. Let's see if we can get something to Paul Williams. Actually, let's go with slot whips. Uh, Paul's not the primary read here. It's probably going to be one of the out guys. We're going to go ahead and let Dwayne Wright uh, go on his route. Usually I hold him in the block. 
There we go. But no, no. Goodness. Now, I'm going to go ahead and look at the replay. I don't need to challenge that because the ball went out of bounds. But, okay, did they, okay, no, it was coming out. Well, let's see. Let's see here. Ball has it moved. There, right there, it starts to move. It's really unclear if his knee is down. Really not sure. Third down. Oh, this had, this formation had a pass play that I, looked really good when I was looking through the audibles and stuff. Yeah, switch. Let's check it out. So Bear could be open or probably Fairman. I don't think Paul is actually my first read here. Oh my gosh! Now, what happened here? I took control of him. I tried to push Y. He just keeps running. <sighs> okay. Well, let's see. Fairman was kind of open. This guy could easily run up. Well, no, he was past the sticks. Well, that's okay. We got a little bit of field position. We're okay punting. Okay, their punt returner is impact player. So hopefully... I'm actually going to aim this up a little bit. Really just don't want to let him run freely. Oh my gosh. Get out there. Okay. 41 yard punt. Return for a gain of six yards. Four receivers. I, I don't know what kind of offense they run. I really don't know. Because some teams you can say, oh, these guys are for sure going to be running the ball, even though it's four wide. You never know. Okay, let's have a look here. Hopefully they pass. I really want to try to get... Oh, goodness. Okay. That was a little scary. I thought he was going to curl in. Sometimes you get this situation where these guys, they're all kind of running to this area over here where the blue circle is, allowing this guy to potentially run in and loop around. So look at the pursuit angle. Look where they're headed. They're headed, they're headed over here. They're headed over this direction. A little scary. We're on cover three again. Looks like they might be kind of passing a lot. Let's see, we'll cheat over with Simmons. Let's cheat those linebackers over too. Okay, they got a first. Okay, let's test this QB. They don't have momentum yet. I would like to, I'm gonna challenge the QB to beat my cover two. Oh, double, double impact over here. Okay. Gosh, surely just didn't have good instincts on that play. But, I mean, better to keep it in front of you. Okay, well, so he beat me. He beat my cover two. I challenged him to beat the cover two. He did. So we're going to go back to cover three. And this is fine, too, because it allows me to cheat up with my safety more confidently. Ooh, get the strip. Oh, man. Well, good try. Was that McCauley? No, it was. Oh, yeah, it was McCauley. Man, they're moving the ball. I really gotta, I really gotta step up here. I, I maybe I need to do a better user. I mean, uh, let's see what they're kind of, they're spreading it out though. So this is a tough one. This is a tough one to, to, to try to combat. Because if they had, they're really, they're really uh, mixing it up well. Because if they had a certain tendency, I could maybe try to user control whatever part of the field they're favoring, and maybe try to bait, uh, bait something. Okay, this is probably a pass if they're audibly. No, I don't know about that. Goodness, look at the fall forward. And who who tackled him? I mean, it's a defensive end on a running back. Well, it might be a fullback. Okay, we'll challenge him again. I really, I really want to get a stop. Okay, I'm going to cover three. I don't like seeing all these guys over here. Oh my goodness. Get it. Oh man, Riley. I wish. See when they're. I just wish my dot guys would get more big hits and stuff like that. That's okay. So let's go. Let's do this. Cover three. Third and three. Ball. Manual spy Riley. Third. We're going to flare out the ends. Cheat linebackers over. Oh, get it. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. we got to tighten up. we got to tighten up. Okay. We're going to stay with three linebackers. Try to stop the run. Because I really feel like I don't sacrifice a ton in coverage when I have linebackers out there instead of DBs. Oh, 
So close. I'll run that again. I mean, if, if I can get that opportunity even remotely consistently, I think I can make a play on D. Oh, no. I tried to play, yeah. I tried to cut off the ball here. It's just hard to see. I ended up, ended up overrunning it. And he kind of ran up field, too. He didn't run toward the sideline like I thought he would. Gosh, okay, we're we're gonna make a play on D. It's it's that's two impact guys with just within a finger of the ball, not quite making the play. You know what? We're gonna manual take McCauley. I think I can bait him. I'm probably gonna if he throws at me, I'm probably gonna go for the bat down though, to be honest. Goodness. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Full momentum for Utah State. Okay, this is already looking bad. And you know what? It's funny. Oregon, high-powered offense, wasn't doing this to me. Washington Huskies, another guy with another team with really good players, wasn't doing this to me. Utah State, one of the bottom teams in the country, just ran it down my throat. Okay, now I think I am going to look to uh, probably pass a little more, maybe even just out of a straight drop back. I have to I have to challenge this defense a little bit. They're not rated very highly. I think I need to challenge them through the air a bit. Let's go to split and drag, see what we see. I mean, they just have some really low rated players out here. Okay, hold on, that's good. Now is Wayne right open? Eh, kinda. This guy's running up, so he probably wouldn't have got much, but it's okay. That's good, though. Feed Paul Williams. Okay, let's go back to our staple here, see how much they cheat. Okay, actually, the 5 2. This is good to run against because they have a lot of slow guys out there, and you can kind of, you can just try to run to the edge. There we go. Yes. Oh, could have stayed in balance. It's okay. Very nice win, right? Okay, so here I'm going to go with the slot option. I do have an audible here that I could run. Okay, they're kind of stacked up. Let's see if they shift. They do shift. Okay, actually, this is that was a good shift for me because now I can make the read on the left side here for a, a possible pitch. I just want one of those guys to move. Somebody move. Nope. Goodness. Oh, no. Freaking hell. I like, that, that was just a complete, look at this, he's not even looking at him. He, 45 is looking over here. What is that? Telepathy is what it is. Eyes in the back of your head. Goodness. Hey, that's the game, though. That is the game. Okay, so let's get a little D-line support. This is cheat over overall. Gosh, the reason I got a little upset there is because I really wanted to engage with uh, with Riley to try to force a fumble. Second and six. Ball on the 38-yard line. I really got to make some plays in the pass game, though, because I think... Oh. Okay, third down. Okay. Number 84. Gosh, their QB is just picking me apart right now. Okay, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go, we're going to call this lightning two. Third and one. We're going to have a look. I actually want audible to cover three. Yeah, we're audibling to cover, cover three. Okay, we got Riley here. We can maybe cheat over and try to pick it off. Nope, no, nope, nope. Okay, that's okay. I mean, it's third and one. They only needed one yard. Can't be too upset. I mean, I'm really... It, I'm really just hoping for like a bend don't break. I mean, just let them let them make a mistake and hope one of my guys makes to play. That's really make make a play. That's really what I'm hoping for. Yes, there we go. That's what we were looking for. Let's go, Goodwin. 
Let's go. That's that's why we don't get too aggressive. That's why we play coverage. That is why. God, we needed that. That was kind of a coverage INT. That's that's nice, man. Let's have a look. Okay, so he's trying to hit this drag. He's trying to hit this fellow right here, right? Is that what I'm seeing? Oh, yeah. just Oh, no, he's trying to hit this guy coming back. So, yeah, guys will come back to the ball. This guy kind of finished his route. He's running deep. He finished his route. He's coming back. Wow. Nice, nice. Look at that. We got momentum, too. Oh, I like it. Things are looking up, guys. Things are looking up already. Okay. Okay, so as long as they don't get a good jump, I do have an opportunity to hand off here. Oh, my gosh. If only Bear would have blocked. Not really sure where he's going. It's okay. Okay, that's the quarter. Got two yards. Okay, good deal. So look at that. How funny is that? I fumble it. They throw a pick back. And now I have momentum. It doesn't always make the most sense. Okay, so here I want to go with QB slot option. Because I do have my audible. Okay, pitch man on the right. So actually, if I can get... Is this guy moving with? No, he's not moving. So I'm actually going to try to motion Fairman in. There we go. There we go. So we're having success running the ball. This is good. Look at this. We're, our momentum's pretty high already, too. All right, let's run this in-out combo. I need to challenge these guys to see if I can get better... Some better uh, chunk yards. So Pasco. Also, if we see the safety on the left come up, we might go to Paul Williams. He does come up. Oh, no! No! <laughs> Paul Williams was open. But we didn't have enough blockers. Ah, oh, so that's third and long now, right? Second and 20. Okay, it's only second down. That's good. Okay, let's go. Okay, I want to run this delta pivot, but like, can we get Paul Williams on the outside? Yeah. Okay, this is good, too, because uh, Dwayne Wright's staying in the block. Okay, we could even go deep to uh, to Fairman over on the outside there. That safety, that deep safety is on a dot, but he's over to the uh, to the right. Oh, man, okay, I tried to spin. That's still good yardage, though, right? I mean, I sure dropped back far, so it's probably not as much yardage as I, as I thought. That's about six yards. Okay, third and 13. We really got to try to pick this up. Okay, here, let's go to the spread here, and let's look at the cross. Was it double cross? Let's go to double cross. Third and, and I don't, this, this secondary is not that good. I don't mind challenging them. Okay, we're going to block doing right. I either want to go with, oh, you know what, though? No, no, we don't want to block doing right. It's either B or X. Yeah, oh, just in your open. <sighs> frustrating, frustrating. Okay, we still have momentum, though. So Paul, Paul Williams was kind of open. So actually, not really. If I throw it to Paul Williams, this guy, okay, is it double spy again? Yeah, this is kind of a double spy situation. This is basically a no man's land. And, and you might remember, I think one of the first plays of the game against... Colorado State, I threw this pattern and ended up completing it around here because I threw past these guys to the right. Um, I wasn't even really making that read. I mean, when I saw man, I uh, and I kind of saw this middle clog. Like, honestly, don't even look at individual guys. I just kind of see the clog mess, and I'm, I just know that uh, I just I – just, wow, Dwayne Wright cuts up field. That's interesting. I just know that throwing that cross, that cross stuff is not an early an option. Okay, we don't. I'm gonna angle my uh, punt up again because we don't want that dot guy to get loose on a punt return. And of course, blocking is just out of this world. What's that guy on the right doing? What is he doing over here? Where are you going? Where are you going, man? Okay. We have momentum. We're gonna stick with cover three. I'm more scared to the run their pass than their pass. Okay. Here we Let's get out there. Ooh! No! <laughs> it's floated out there. Somebody make a jump on the ball. Okay, Maze was on it. Maze was on it, but uh, who's this? 
Jenkins. Oh, Jenkins is not on it. He was probably the deep guy, right? Yeah, he's the deep guy. Okay, that guy's in the zone. I'm, I'm going to cheat. We're just going to play. Oh, dude, if you let that go, that could be a pick. Look at this. He floated out there. Look at me. I'm running. Well, who knows? There's two dot guys. That's that's probably still the best outcome. Second and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Okay. Actually, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to play Macaulay. This isn't even a cheat. It's more of a bait, I would say. Oh, no. Gosh, I hate... He, see how he runs at the path of the ball? So, Shirley is running, like, right here when he should be moving toward the guy or to cut off his, like, momentum, cut off, cut him off after he catches the ball. But I realize that's kind of a human instinct that's not... Uh, act, I'm actually going to go dime here. They've been passing pretty consistently. If they run it, kudos. I'm going to cheat up with the, with the DB. Okay, over here. Oh, no! Are you serious? God, I thought I was there. I thought I was there, man. What happened? Nope, just a little late. Just a little late. Okay, let's go back to cover three. First and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Okay, we can do a full sheet. Oh, good. How's their kicker? I wonder if I need to apply any kind of pressure to try to keep them out of field goal range. Probably their kicker is a beast. Their kicker is their punter. 86 kick pow. But he's a punter. They should have worse stats. So he probably can't make it from here. Okay, we're going to stick with cover three. I really want to key on the run. And, and I mean, it's, it's keen on the run, and it's also the fact that the, my DBs, I just don't think they're better than my linebackers in coverage. Okay, thankfully he stepped out. I need a user here. This is probably the edge of their field goal range. Let's shift over. Okay, we have to guard a tight end over here. Yes. Oh, that probably takes him out of field goal range, too. We'll see. Nice sack, though. That's a good coverage sack. Awesome. Is that a Roberts on the end there? Yeah. Very nice. So let's see. Do they trot out the field goal? They're not. Okay. So we're going to go with... Uh, we'll go with the safe return. This is pretty much guaranteed going in the end zone. Okay. They're, uh, I'm actually going to shade over with Klutz on this impact receiver who's in the zone in case they fake it. Okay. They didn't. If that comes back in field, okay. I saw a little wind action. You can see the dot, the target move, and I was afraid that they were gonna, that was gonna come back into play. Okay, they're shaded in. This has the cookings of a. Uh, oh man, they're shaded, shifted over though. This actually still, I think I could still run it to the side here. Oh, or not? Or I get to fall forward though. Okay, so what happened there? Okay, simple case of not enough guys to block. That's understandable. They were kind of loaded up over there. Gosh, this had really kind of no chance because this guy comes in on the side. If I kept it, it would have been bad. So we got two. Okay, there was a pass play. Let's run a pass play here. Let's run this mesh. I like this. So we got Williams across the middle. We got Chaston on and out. We'll go ahead and let Dwayne Wright run. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, can I just not execute? I just can't execute anything right now. Like, what? I tried to manual control him, too, and it wouldn't let me. And you can tell with manual control because the yellow, the yellow crosshair right here should move to him. Gosh, this game is freaking killing me right now. Okay. Inside wheel. Drag HB corner. Let's check that out. I like the way that looks. So who's this deep in? This deep in is drawn Fairman. Fairman's pretty solid. So it's probably going to be to him or drag uh, the drag to Paul Williams. Also, another fun fact is uh, how oh, our drag. Yes. Thank goodness. Now, see, this is OK. Thank goodness. And, oh, the other fun fact that I was going to say was uh, on the last play, they jumped off sides, but it actually wouldn't let me snap it while they're off sides. Like it just the button wouldn't respond. Anyhow. 
this is not really the best read, but I knew it was Paul Williams on the dot. Now see here we have uh, drawn, this is drawn Fairman, right? Oh, it's, oh, it's Say. So Say is more open, but you have DBs kind of covering. I just knew that these guys were in a trail. See, so this guy is sagged back, so he could easily run up. This guy, these guys are in a full-on trail. So with my guy uh, with the dot, I figured it was good to go. So that's that worked out. So let's look at QB slot option, and I'm probably looking to audible to a pass if they loaded up. Yeah, look at this freaking 5-2. Five 5-2, two. Five two. okay. Uh, PA QB choice, not really sure which one that this is, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, I actually like this with Bear on the far side, because, uh, okay, let's concentrate. Nope, that's a pick. Yep. Yeah. Oh my gosh, can we not tackle this guy? Uh, I was about to get hit. I Really, anybody I throw to here is a pick. And this is probably my first really bad pass that I've thrown early in this whole dynasty. That's like, that was kind of unforced. They just run the spy so much. I just need to abandon things in the middle. I don't know. What am I talking about? Let's get back to it. I probably tried to get a little too creative there. Um, I've been having I've been having success running the ball, so I need to kind of stick with that, and I think that's something I need to focus on after halftime. So hopefully we can hold them to a field goal here at least, if not force a turnover. So we do have momentum. Okay, I like Riley out there in the flat. Okay, we're gonna go for a jump here. Yep, got it. Ah, it didn't help though. Get there, get there! Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, third and four. We're gonna stick with cover three. Okay, Riley's in the zone. I'm actually gonna float him back. Okay, so I have Shirley. Oh no. Okay, they're calling timeout. So here, this is a situation where I can game the jump the snap as well. Because if they're in kind of this timeout mode, uh, I can... Okay, get out there, get out there, get out there. Oh my gosh, there's nobody home. Full momentum for him now. Ooh, okay, I need to get back to my bread and butter. Running the ball, get the ball to Paul Williams. I just, I can't afford a loss here. But even with the momentum, their secondary is not good. I'm really hoping I can isolate somebody, get somebody in space, get some kind of play going before the half, at least get a field goal. I keep forgetting that Paul Williams is out there on, uh, on kick coverage, or on kick return. I really probably wouldn't prefer that. They'll take over at the 21 yard line. First and 10. Okay, I'm actually going to block Dwayne Wright. Let's actually send Paul Williams on out. There we go. Second and one. Oh, I thought I had somebody coming across the middle. Let's send Chasson in. Let's go, let's go. I'm actually going to call timeout here. Give Paul Williams a little rest. We can collect ourselves. We still have two timeouts, yeah. Okay, I'd rather get receivers out there in case I have to call. No huddle. Well, that's bare. Back or tight end. Let's let's keep Bear out there then. Why not? P. Reed. Let's go with this gambler. First and ten. If they keep running man, the out to uh, Paul Williams is very good. I'll probably look to see if Bear Pasco is open in the flat here to run out of bounds. Man, oh man. Wow, I'm glad I got rid of it. What happened? Just a failure to block. They rushed one, two, they rushed six, seven. They rushed seven guys. Wow. The pass falls incomplete. Okay. 
Okay, I'm going to call QB slot option, but I'm going to look to audible. Yeah, we're going to audible out of this. Unless they do some kind of shift. Yeah, we'll audible. Let's run it to PA read. And I actually want to block Dwayne Wright. So this is going to be... Oh man, I'm actually going to run Paul Williams on hitch. This is kind of an example of like... Okay. Oh my gosh, of course he falls freaking like backwards. Oh, I'm losing yardage. Okay. P A N D. Let's run. Let's get Paul Williams over on the other side. Third and eight. Okay, let's get Bear on a deeper out. Or not a deep route. Yes! Let's go. No! And another lineman hurt. This is just frustrating. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, we're going to cheat with Riley, see if we can get him to bait, bait a pass over here. And this is actually not a bad spot. This... Ah, oh, man, I tried to lay the big hit, too. It didn't work. Okay, if they get any closer, it's field goal. I can't, I can't afford to give up a field goal here. Okay, let's change that to where Riley is there. They should be passing here. Oh, nice. I'll take that. Okay, let's actually switch. We're going to go to cover three. A little quicker, get our little bit quicker of guys out there. of course. Okay, are they running hurry up? They are running hurry up. We're going to go cover two man. Roberts, we're going to send him deep. Okay, they called timeout. So I guess this is a Hail Mary situation. Um, five wide, so... <sighs> this freaking sucks. I hate this situation. So I'm going to blitz my linebackers. And play coverage here. So they have... I'm rushing more guys than they can block. We just have to hope we can... Yes, there we go. Okay, good. That's what we are hoping for. I really didn't want him to get the ball in the air because they're super... They have... He's got an impact receiver. It's just all bad. Okay, here we go. Let's shake it off. We have to give it the ball, but momentum's cut in half, and it's a full length of the field to go. I'm really confident we can make another play on D. I mean, we have to. We don't have a choice. If we just stop. Okay, the pick I had. Actually, we want. No, we want Riley over there. The pick I had was unforced, but the fumbles are killing me. I mean, I, I can't afford to throw a pick like that. I can't. Oh, I can't afford to throw a pick like that. Uh, given that I'm gonna, basically, it's 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 automatic that I'm gonna have several fumbles a game. Second and nine. God, I wish Riley could have got over for the pick on that one. Okay, we're going to shoot over with linebackers. There we go. Okay, third and six. They should be passing. I'll go ahead and put the DBs out there. I just really hope I can, if I can bait them into a pass, that would be great. Oh, you know what? We're actually owning manual with the D end over here because this middle section is very wide open. No, 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 no. Yeah, get it, get it, get it. Are you sure? Are you serious? How many guys did I have there? One, two. It's just, it's just not the day for fumbles. I'm not gonna say it's not the day. Not overall. This game's not over, but it is not the day for fumbles. It's not two days for fumbles. Holy cow. Okay, potential return here. Yeah. No, no, couldn't block him. It's okay. We just really need to make something happen before the uh, before the end of the quarter here. 
a little more commitment to the run and not trying to get creative with passing. Okay, they did a shift. So if they don't get a great jump, I actually would like to hand it off here. As long as there's no great jump, we should be able to get some yardage. Okay, there we go. I would have liked to hit that hole a little more smoothly, but it's okay. We've got five. Can't complain. Second and five. Ball on the 31 yard line. I don't care for this. Switch over to this. Okay, hopefully I have time for them to run around a bit. Okay, Fairman, Pasco. So we're kind of looking for Fairman across the middle. Ooh, or Paul Williams. Get there. Yes! Yes. There we go. That's why it's good to throw to your dot man. Okay, let's let's game it. We're on the left side of the field, which means we have a lot of space for doing right. Okay, we're set up to where we can potentially pitch it to Paul Williams here. I mean, it looks like a pitch as long as the left side doesn't completely blow up. Break it. Yes. Okay, we only got a couple yards. Hey, given how many tackles for loss I usually have to eat per game, uh, that's not that bad. So let's run PAQB choice. Might want to change to slot option. Not sure. 4-3. Uh, okay, Fairman might be open. We're going to send Bear on just a regular in here. Nice. And he held on. He held on. That's key. Third and one. Uh, let's, do, let's do this. Let's get a little... Uh, you know what? Actually, let's, uh, let's just do a run play. Have I even used this formation yet? This dynasty, I don't know. Pretty much should be able to just fall forward, though. D-line, somebody move. He moved. Oh, my God. Get, get it. Are you serious? Okay, I have to go over this. Fourth and one. Ball on the 46-yard line. Oh, he got it. He got it. He got it. Okay, good. He got hit in the backfield, though. Oh, that was close. That was a close one. Okay, PA read flow. Okay, I think I want to try to audible this to uh, QB slot option because they only have one linebacker. PA QB choice read flow. I don't have slot option. Okay, that's fine. There we go. Nice. Okay, they're out in the five. That looks, is that the five two? I'm not really sure what formation that is, but still I have a good chance to be able to run wide on the formation, try to run for the sideline. Yeah, there we go. Okay, see this is what I should have been doing, doing all game, but I still, I still maintain the only really big mistake I made was that bad interception. That's really, that's really what got me. Okay, they're bunched up. Okay, so actually, yes, there we go. Looking good, looking good. Okay, let us get Paul Williams the ball on the sweep. I have 16 seconds, so I can audible out if I need to. What kind of shifts are they doing? Left. Okay, might be able to get it up the middle here. Any D-linemen want to move? Nope, not really. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, there, I wasn't going to pitch it in case you're worried. I was absolutely not going to. Okay, let's uh, let's get a pass going over here. I know there's some good pass plays here. Okay, let's try let's try this inside wheel. So we might be able to try to hit the sideline with looks like Say right there. Gosh, I really don't like this too much. Big dog, big dog. Do I have time to do this? I actually do. Okay, that's good. We're just going to... Oh! Okay, I was afraid... Oh, yes, we got in. Nice. I was afraid I was going to fumble. I didn't think I was going to get the touchdown. Very nice. Oh, yeah, on the spin, he barely got in. Let's see, do we have anybody? Say... What What did say? Oh, no, I changed the play. I changed it. 
So no, really nobody was open. I tried running. I tried holding down the sprint button. Yeah, he might not have made it in, but it's okay. We'll take it. Okay. Momentum cut in half. It's not the fourth quarter yet. That's what I wanted. I wanted to score before the fourth. And a touchdown was... That was... That was super important. We needed that badly. Okay, so good situation. Really it comes down to turnovers now. Can I avoid, can I force a turnover? Or can I, and can I avoid turning it over myself? I'm confident that I can get another pick. Their QB is, he's throwing it into some windows. Okay, we have Riley over there on the side. I like it. Uh, we'll cheat up with Shirley. Support the run. I have to guard the flat, though, manually. Yeah. Very nice. Lewis Leonard. Don't get blocked. That's the best uh, That's the best defensive play. Okay. Okay, I like it again. Riley over there on the left side. Looks like I'm going to have to guard a tight end in the flat, potentially. Nice. Okay, this is tough. I honestly, I would, I would like this better if it was third and like eight. But because I know they're throwing it downfield, this third, uh, this cover three is more vulnerable. I don't care for it. So I'm going to play Jefferson here and kind of cheat back on the sag. Um, I'm really afraid of the middle, but I, I can't guard all parts of the field. Get him! Get him! Yes! Yes! Let's get that ball back. Oh my goodness! Of course. Actually, my 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 secondary is fairly deep. Uh, safety, at least. Oh, no. Gosh, if I could have caught another block, could have had the sideline. That's okay. It's okay. Probably not while I'm thinking of it. I need. I want to get Paul Williams off of the kick return. Let's go with... Let's, let's see. Who has good carry? 74. Clifton's already in there. Dorsey. Yeah, let's put Dorsey back there. I might be able to stretch it out, but we'll look for a hole. There we go. Stretching it out. Nice. I guess maybe I should try to run out of bounds instead of uh, instead of taking the hit for the extra yardage. But they typically that's you don't really see fumbles there that that often, so I'm not super worried about it. Try to spin. Second and two. Ball on the thirty-seven yard line. Okay, let's they got six DBs out here, so we're gonna change to PAQB choice on the L. We should have time for this. So actually I kinda like this. I kinda have chest and coming in. So this actually might be a keep. Yeah. I think Chaston was coming in too. Is he open? Actually, Chaston was open over the middle. But see, this is the area where if they have a spy hanging out around here, I may not see him behind the defensive line. And it's a potential pick if that's the case. And see here, here's some kind of, here's kind of a user too, where I actually, he, he has the angle on me. So I bring the guy, I bring my guy, kind of cut him off. Now you do kind of risk a, uh, oh, actually here, let's do... Read flow. We have time to audible. Actually, okay, we're gonna stick with this. Oh, okay. Here's this is interesting. I want to try to uh, throw it to Clifton here on R. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out of bounds. Let's not get hit. Nice. See, I saw that there was no. I, it, there's just no. There's no DB or anything covering Fairman here. So, uh, I didn't know. Okay, yeah. See, what happened is this. This safety. So I basically knew that whoever was guarding Clifton was not near him. And what ended up happening is you can see that it's this guy as he starts running for Clifton at the snap. He's headed right for him. So 
That guy's just too far away. Okay, Paul's in the zone. So let's go to, let's just hand him the ball directly. Their front line is not that intimidating, so I think I can run around him if I need to. Ah, uh, they, they, I don't, I guess we'll just run it. Try to maybe get up the middle. Can I move anybody? Yeah, I can move this guy over. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Yes. Oh, no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we'll go out of bounds. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, that, <laughs> there's a lot happening on that play. A lot to unpack. I see this guy run in, and I'm scared. Fortunately, Paul Williams is such a beast, he breaks the tackle. And then I see this guy come free. Dwayne Wright, the pitch man, comes up the block. Clutch. Super clutch. And then because of their over-aggressive pursuit angle, I'm able to bounce it outside, get sideline, get some yardage. Okay. Let's go back here. Slot option. First and goal. I really don't like passing it down here because it's such a compressed... Okay, this, this is tough. This is going to be a hard read on the left, left defensive end. If he gets blocked, then I want to keep it. He did not get blocked. Oh, this might be a touchdown. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, here we go. We're just going to pound it in. HB slam. Let's go. Yes. That's awesome. So you might ask yourself, why don't I, like when I got here and there's nobody over here, why don't I cut it over? It's because if I get my player facing toward the sideline, so if I want to go left, I'm going to have to face like out the direction of out here at some point. And if I do that and they engage in the tackle, he could potentially just kind of run this way and on the, his fall forward would not be forward if that happened. So I prefer to just stay, to stay, stay pointed toward the goal line. That way, whatever animation gets engaged, uh, it's hopefully falling forward or at least not taking him backward. Basically, the conservative play that you have come to know and love by watching this dynasty. Okay. Looking better. We got a little momentum. Tied the game up. Fresno State is lined up for the kickoff. Nice. Okay. So these end game situations are dicey. If I give up the lead, they're going to get a ton of momentum because it's the end of the game. So we've got to be careful about that. <gasps> yes! Let's go! Goodwin! Two picks for Goodwin! <laughs> yeah! Chuck that ball. F these guys. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, he got the celebration flag. You know what? It's okay. It's worth it. I wanted to see a celebration. So if I hit the buttons there, and you guys actually might remember me talking about this on the uh, podcast one time. But uh, if I if I pause the game or like you can you can hit buttons to just get to skip past the celebration and and go to the play call just you know go to the next screen. But if you let it ride, that's when you risk the flag. And so that's what I was talking about when I uh, had Fresno State against Nebraska in the bowl game. When I was talking about when we were talking about uh, hair pulling video game moments in, in of our lifetimes and what I said was I was Fresno State against Nebraska in like the Orange Bowl or Sugar Bowl or something like that and I was ahead I was ahead by like I don't know I was ahead by like five points or no like by two one or two or something like that so anyhow uh, Nebraska has the ball it's fourth down they're at maybe their own or they're at maybe midfield to, or they're like my 40 yard line they chuck one into the end zone on fourth down. I bat it down, and what happened was my guy went into a celebration like that one. So there you notice the celebration. He celebrated, celebrated, celebrated. After like three to five seconds, the flag came out. Well, in that one, the flag came out instantly. It could not have come out any faster. And it, it came out so quickly, he hadn't, like when it, the camera cut to the guy, he wasn't even celebrating. Like he just started to raise his arm, and he hadn't even started celebrating yet. And uh, the flag came out, which gave them yardage and allowed them to kick a field goal to beat me because uh, I think I was up by like one or two. So anyhow, that that's that's what I was talking about on the podcast at one time. So so here we go. So here, I don't know. I don't really want to uh, – actually, let's stick to the run. Actually, let's do this. Let's go QB slot option with the, uh, the four wide. 
the Fresno State Bulldogs take over at the I really can't afford to like try to say drain clock and uh and kick a field goal. Really can't do that. Oh, go back, go back. Okay, we've got to fall forward even though the guy got blown up. That's okay. Look at Dwayne Wright doing work. Let's see. Yeah, I want to get a drag. I want to get a drag on. Right, see if I can hit Paul Williams. Six. Okay, nice. They got a lot of a lot of linemen out there. A lot of linemen and linebackers. This bodes well. I'm okay. I'm gonna f I'm gonna block Dwayne Wright, even though that introduces an extra uh, pass defender in the middle. I'm gonna wait for uh, Paul to clear the side. There we go. Now it's got to bounce because we don't want to get hit by a dot man. Okay, I called post cross and I did not mean to. We're gonna audible to QB slot option. I think I I just have, uh, I have some kind of like thing in my head where if I uh, I hit down a certain amount of times, it's on QB slot option and that didn't quite happen. So here I actually might try to throw to Lubinsky here, even though he's super slow. I think he'll be open. Oh no, get down, get down. I don't want to get tackled by that dog guy. That's that could be a fumble. <laughs> I probably could have run there too, but I don't care. I'm not I don't I can't I don't want another fumble. Okay, so now we'll try to run QB slot option. So what may have happened is when I first clicked on the uh, on the formation, it was probably on a different play, on a different like set of plays than I usually see. Second down. God they have some wide splits. This could be a run up the middle. That's what I'm going to look to do. So I just want a lineman to move, middle or right, preferred. Somebody, f somebody move. Okay, he moved. He moved. There we go. There we go. There we go. A little blocking. Okay, I actually wasn't looking at that guy. I was looking farther downfield. That's okay. That's good. I think I can make. I can make a field goal from here uh, if it comes to it. So let's do. Can we get Paul Williams in the slot here? I want to try something a little shorter. Yeah, let's try the slot whips. I just. Oh gosh, they're. Okay. We're going to run uh, change this to QB choice. PA read flow. That's the one. Yeah, look at that. Don't even have to move. That's working out. Shade left. And, of course, I get sacked. What happened? Th these guys. What happened here? He just left him alone. Wow. I was going to try to go to a C out here. It's okay. 33. This is a 50-yarder. What's my kicker look like? He's on a 90. Kick pow is what? 93? I think I can do it. What's the wind look like? I don't know. I can't see the wind. Wind three miles an hour against. Ah, yeah, we'll give it a try. This is pretty good. And field goals, you can make some pretty long ones in this game. Let's go. That's good. That's good. Yes, that gives me momentum too, right? Because it's the end of the game. Yes, full momentum. So I don't care for getting a field goal instead of a touchdown, but hey, full momentum. My defense has been playing really well. I like it. I like it. And also, if they do score, there's there's enough time in the game, provided that they don't milk all the clock out. It's looking good, guys. Okay, except they have dot man returning in, so. Okay. Let's go. I don't know. I, this feels good. This feels good. I feel confident. Okay, let's see. Yeah, let's get Riley back there. We'll play. We're going to sacrifice a little run game, so I'm not cheating up with the safety. Okay, that's good. Stick with 4-3, uh, three, cover 3. Okay, we're going to sacrifice a little run D again. Now good win. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm playing the flat. Yeah, let's go, Klutz. Let's go. Clutch. Yeah, and that's that's play action is dicey. Like line linemen just don't do not guard play action that well. Okay, here we go. Ball on the 22 yard line. Okay, so I'm gonna have the I'm gonna control Jefferson in the flat and cheat back. Okay, let's you know, get you over. We're gonna cheat back here. Okay, we got that. That's even if he completes it, that's not a first. Nice, very nice. All right. We got a chance to return here. Yeah, <laughs> let's go, let's go, Clifton, let's go, hoof it out, hoof it out. Yes, <laughs> ha ha ha. 
We needed that. We needed that. Let's go. Edison High. We were just watching the uh, video clip on the Discord, actually, of Clifton Smith doing a flip over guy in high school. He had a, like a 20 yard run where he flipped, a, flipped over a guy at the two yard line. Oh, let's go. Yes. Sweet, sweet victory is in the sights, guys. It's in the sights. Oh, man, that's that's nice, man. Like uh, it, something I've been noticing, and I don't know how I didn't realize it after all these years. Um, the blocking is better when I don't sprint with the ball. I don't know what it is because I've been noticing this on kickoffs as well. That uh, that if I if I if I just run push forward on the stick without the sprint button and wait until I'm in open field to sprint, blocking's better. Oh man, look at that! Just hit the hole, and it feel doesn't it feel good to hit a hole like that? It's so good. It's like because it's it's just not cheesy. It feels like hey, that's where the blocking is. I read the blocks. I followed the hole. You know, followed the blocks. Uh, just, it's, it's nice, as opposed to stretching it out wide because you're faster and the CPU takes a bad angle. Oh yeah, let's go. Fresno State is lined up for the kickoff. Uh, hey, can I get a clipping call over there? They've called clipping on me for far less. Uh, I guess I'll switch to five uh, defensive backs, or, you know, four defensive backs. Okay, we'll cheat over Simmons. We'll cheat kind of deep here. Flare out on the linebackers. Okay, got that contained. Yeah, okay, here, that's what I told you about if you watched earlier videos where you can actually big hit someone when you're running the same direction. So because I was just in close proximity, I was able to lay the wood. Didn't get the fumble, but we got that big hit. Second and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. Yeah, let's go. Riley's laying the wood. He'll fumble eventually, I'm confident. Okay, well, if it's third and seven, we'll bring out another defensive third back. And, seven. and this is also the kind of range where they'll start running hurry up, in which case I definitely want uh, defensive backs on the field. Oh, here we go. Yay! Oh, okay. I got the animation for a pick, too. I got greedy. Got greedy. I kind of sagged him back. You can see here in the replay. I got the animation. Just didn't jump high enough. It's okay. So here's what I'm going to do, actually, just for a little revenge on that, because it makes me a little upset. No, no, no. Get back, get back, get back, get back. Oh, I might have been offsides. I've... Offsides. On the defense. Ugh. Okay, that was like the last thing we wanted, which was to give him, let him, let him score uh, so quickly. <sighs> that was all bad. And so what happened was just because of, you, you might have seen this guy was just sitting here. So I controlled him, tried to get back. And then why was, why didn't I engage a tackle here? Like here, he's got the ball. Just, I'm right on his hip. Our, our legs cross. Our legs touch. No, no, uh, no tackle engagement. It's okay. Dorsey, first look. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna run. We're gonna run the ball. Needless to say. Okay, it kind of shifts. They shift in. Okay, this could be a pitch to Paul Williams. Really don't care for that at a time right now where I'm trying to. Uh, Actually gonna go here. Oh no! I thought. See, this is crap. This is crap. I'm trying to dive so I don't get hit. He warps underneath me for a big hit. Like I just hang. In, oh goodness. And he's so far out wide. I don't have the read to be able to pitch because I can't see him coming from like all the way out of nowhere. Oh, it's okay. Okay. 
let's let's do this. We have okay. We don't have a long play clock actually. Let's get the ball to Paul Williams. We'll just hand it to him. Second and five. Ball on the okay, this could be feast or famine because they have a lot of guys in the box, but they're bunched up and they're bunching them in. Okay, this is really good. Now we just want somebody on the line to move. Just give me somebody. Just give me somebody. Or not. Or not. Or we got this wide. Go, go. Break a tackle. Or don't. Or don't. Okay. I need first down here. Can't screw around. Uh, okay, let's see. What do we got here? Let's go with angle outs, QB choice, corner combo. No. I have to call timeout here. Oh, definitely call a timeout here. And actually, you know what I like a little better? I like uh, zig outs. Is that what it's called? Slot whips. Third and five. Ball on the 28-yard line. Okay, that guy's creeping up. We're gonna block Dwayne right because there's nothing over the middle really. Ooh, ooh, Chastin, Chastin, no! What are you doing? Where is he running to? I mean, the pass is, like, kind of on target. Gosh, I just couldn't get animation. Ugh. It's one of those games, guys. That was bad. And I had no pass blocking on the right, so it was all hurried. I thought they were going to be a man. I would really like to hit this guy. That's my normal other read on this play. Besides the out, it's not there. It's okay. The Utah State Aggies will start the drive at the 33-yard line. I guess I should have taken the sack, but I was, like, so intent on... I just really didn't want to, uh... Oh! Gosh, somebody picked that. Well, at least they batted it down. I, I'll take it. Um, I was so intent on getting the first, I just, like, I was... I had the mindset of I was ready to maybe force something because I wanted a first. Okay, we got Riley over on the left. Let's see if we can uh, vulture a pick on the, on the underneath. Okay. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay, that takes him out of field goal, actually. Okay, we'll go cover three. I actually wouldn't put past put it past the uh, CPU to run here. Okay, I'm gonna take Shirley, cheat over. I'm gonna kind of cheat middle deep. Yes. Clutch. Don't do any dances. Can't afford a 15 yarder here. But look, look at the angle he's taking. He's running. He's gonna run clear out of the back of the end zone. I had to bring him back. Okay, here they go. Just cover three when they're throwing deep is super iffy. I actually, I think I'm going to call cover two man here. I don't like it, but I don't really see another option. Ball on the 36 -yard line. And I'm going to cheat back with Riley. Looks like I'm on a fullback. Yes! God, we needed that. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. So here... They only have one timeout. Actually, can I run the clock out? First down, timeout. Second down, third down. So they can't quite run the clock out, so we're going to go ahead and run the ball. The State or no, I can't quite run the clock out. I think I said they can't line. quite run it out. The play clock's only 25 seconds. Get to the outside. Stay in bounds. Okay, we got a few. Okay, they're not calling a timeout. Okay, let's go with PA read flow here. Yeah, I'm going to have the intent to see. Look at this. This is another way you can keep the defense honest. It's a it's a read uh, handoff, and they came out with six defensive backs in a running situation just because I have the four receivers out. Now this probably they'll probably stuff it, but you know whatever. I'm going to hand it off. Okay, I really want to play it conservatively here. Okay, let's do, let's give it to our man Paul Williams. Where is that? Third Whatever and happens, seven. happens. Ball on the 43 yard line. Okay, they're spread out, that's okay, we can deal. It's gonna have to read the right ends there. Nope, okay, I guess I could have cut, cut it up. Yeah, there really wasn't much there. I mean, that's gonna be, a, that's a hard, that's asking a lot to try to cut back in this way. 
Yeah, so that probably wasn't really going to happen. 58 makes the stop. Seven yard loss on the play. So maybe you get a flag, huh? Celebrate some more, get a flag? No, 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 of course not. Home field advantage. Okay. Fourth and 14. Ball on the 36 yard line. This guy, we pointed it up just a bit. Because we don't want any run backs here. Oh man, late fair catch. I almost ran into him. Okay, so here, I think I'm going to stick with cover two man. I don't like it one bit, but they could be chucking it deep. So we'll sag back in coverage. I think that doesn't really hurt much. So here, if they get a tackle, I'm actually going to be trying to game the, uh, I'm going to get up on the line to try to jump the snap. Oh my gosh. That's so close to being just a juggle. I hate stuff like this because it can magically end up in the receiver's hand. Look at that. That was right in front of his face. He could have grabbed it. Clicked right through the guy. Okay. And they have no timeouts too, so... They have no timeouts, so even if they catch something, they're going to have to run up. They can't kick a field goal. Yes! There we go. Game. That is ball game. Celebrate. You earned it. You earned it. There we go. Shoot, maybe I need to call man more often when... Because, I mean, my DBs might overmatch their receivers top to bottom. Maybe not on their top guy because it is impact on impact. But, uh, wow, well, Utah State made us sweat it out. First and ten. <laughs> Minus 129? That's got to be on the season, right? That can't be on the game. Yeah, the the road victory at one and four Utah State. We're doing the we're doing the the Gatorade for that one. That's okay. That's okay. That was a good game. Oh, another thing that you guys might not have noticed. I guess I should have mentioned this at the beginning, but I just now noticed it myself. No commentary. That's one way this game works. Is if your game is not televised. So Fresno State, Utah State. It's like it's not it's not a game that anybody really wants to watch that badly nationally. You actually don't get announcers, which is kind of a fun nuance of the game. I mean, fun if you're into that kind. Of, I mean, I think it's I think it's cool. I think it's a neat a neat feature. Just add a little add a little more realism. So did he didn't have minus? Yeah, he had minus nine. That that scared me. So what our stats look like? Twenty one eighteen. That's not that good. Two picks. Both were one was semi bad. One was really bad. Uh, Dwayne Wright, 2136. Paul, 8 for 82. I'll take it. Man, these guys just pancake so much. What about tackles for loss? Look at that. Only four tackles for loss. So that's a big difference you'll see is playing these lower teams. They just don't get in the backfield and tackle you as much. It just doesn't happen, which is natural. So I actually had more tackles for loss than they did. Riley, seven tackles. Sack. McCauley with a pick. Goodwin with two picks. Alan Goodwin. What a beast. Stitzer with the 51. That was clutch. All right. Good game. Very good game. Now, what are the team stats? 257 offense. That's not really that good. My my passing didn't really get going too well. And I threw two picks. But I did what I wanted to do, which was uh, open up with a little more passing. I just didn't do as well at it myself. And we'll save. So we'll advance the rest of the week. We'll check out recruiting. And then that will, that will do it for this episode. So that's good. 2-0 in conference. Good start. I think we have one more game before the LSU game. I'm really excited about that one just to see if I have any chance of pulling it off. So versus Hawaii at LSU. Okay. Yeah, that's going to be a chore. That's going to be rough. Versus Hawaii. Good, good. That one's at home. That's a big... I mean, to me personally, Hawaii is a rival. It's our biggest rival. Boise, they beat us too much to consider that a, a true rivalry. It's a little one-sided. But still a rivalry, though. 
All right, very exciting. Only one loss. It's, it's a pretty good season so far. So let's check this out. Invite. Oh, we can invite for a visit. Now this. Okay, so now we're actually this. We're going to spend a couple more minutes on uh, recruiting then than I originally anticipated. Well, let's check out him out. Okay, so we're at the top of the list for this guy for this middle linebacker. Corner, we're at the top. Defensive end, we're at the top. We're still second for this quarterback. Guard, receiver. Now, he, we're giving him points, right? We're still fourth. We're not doing that great. School to academics. So I guess we can have a good academic re reputation because we have a plus. So here is where they tell you the pitch feedback. If there's a plus or a minus, it gives you a clue as to what they're looking for. So for uh, I'll show you in a few minutes here. Receiver. Okay, we're number one on this guy's list. That's good. And we're giving him 13 points, so that's pretty good. So the, where the pluses and minuses come into play, so it would be very helpful if I had uh, if I had a read on his on what he was interested in, because if this okay, so let's see here, this guy had the where was it? Somebody had pitch feedback. This guy concerned about not being a starter right away, and another guy had a plus on academics. So if I had one on here. I could I could I could pick what to pitch to him when he when he visits. So I actually might have him come next week. And so here I'm gonna have him come next week, and that's because you do get a penalty like they do they don't like it when you have a buy, they're just their interest goes down, which kinda stinks. But if if he had so he said coaching style will not be a factor, so I don't want to pick coaching style. I wanna try to pick what he's interested in. So because he's four star, he's interested in USC and Cal. Um, I think I'm going to go with program prestige. Probably not academics. It's just more likely that those are higher prestige programs. And with Cal, keep in mind that this is on the heels of Marshawn Lynch, Deshaun Jackson, uh, uh, Aaron Rodgers, those guys. So they actually were doing pretty well back at that time. So we're going to go with program prestige. And uh, I don't know if throwing more points at him necessarily will help. But just in case it does, I'm going to throw an extra couple points at him. Another nice thing, too, is once they go off your list, I think you get more points to recruit with because you have to divide up all these points. Not exactly sure about that, but I think that's the case. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to have that guy visiting next week against Hawaii's 680-pound squat. That, that's got to be like Olympian status, right? This guy squats 535. 670 guards. This guy squats more than a lineman. Wow. Discipline poor. So discipline is their likelihood to do something that'll get them suspended, like what happened with uh, Joe Fernandez. Whew. So what a game! What a game against uh, against Utah State. That was a lot of fun. So injuries are all done. How's our program standards? This is where you can see your pending uh, or your your existing suspensions. One more game for Joe Fernandez. We'll see him back in one game. So yeah, good game against Utah. Definitely some unforced errors in the passing game. One definitely unforced. One semi unforced. So if I can clean that up, uh, I think I'll do much better on offense. So, so that is exciting. And to me, that's, that's fun. I mean, yeah, it's frustrating to throw picks, but it's a lot of fun identifying ways that I can improve and, and run a more clean offense, which is really what I want to do. Low risk, I want to minimize turnovers, things like that. So, so uh, yeah, so I, I don't mind. It's all part of the fun. So, again, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time.